Hey everybody, welcome back. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a haul. So I know you guys are gonna be like, are you serious, bitch? You literally just put a haul up? But this is actually my what I got um, at Sephora for the Sephora VIB haul. And I'm super excited to share it. I wasn't gonna put this up because um, I just put a haul up. But I love, 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 love asking my friends. I love asking my friends like what they got. I think it's so much fun. So I think it's really, really fun. I don't know why I'm explaining myself. This is my channel. And if I want to put it up, I will. So obviously, I dyed my hair. Um, I actually dyed it um, at home by myself. But I'm going to have to make a disclaimer to not look at my fingernails. Because they... I wore gloves, guys. I don't know what happened. My nails are like black. And I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And it's just not coming off. So please don't look at my nails. If I show you guys things like this, it's that's why, okay? So yeah, if you guys would like to see what I got in today's video, just go ahead and keep on watching. This is going to be kind of like a... like Kind of like a sh different kind of haul, I guess you could say. I'm going to be showing you guys things I got at the VIB sale. But I'm also going to be showing you like things that I got... Um, like other random shit I got because like that's fun too you know like I, I got some stuff at H&M and then I got like one thing at Target so but the first thing that I got I actually already started using them are the Sh Shiseido facial cotton facial cotton they're pretty much um little swabs like you know how you use swabs to like put toner on your face this is what those are for and let me tell you something I was at Sephora with my friend Giselle and this bitch is bougie and she was like, oh my gosh, you need to try these. And I was like, like, are you serious? Like, I think they're like $12 or something crazy like that. And I was like, I am not going to buy. And then I touched them. And they are so soft, guys. And I really feel like they distribute, like, your toner really evenly. I use a toner day and night. So I feel like they do an amazing job. How much comes in here? How many come in? They're 165 sheets so it's really not that bad but they're really really soft like even the bag is soft i know and this is like really really nice cotton so i went ahead and bought these and i do not regret it one bit this thing i bought ula henriksen dark spot toner i restocked on this because i recently ran out and i went ahead and i ordered at the store as well because they didn't have it um the ula henriksen what is that one the green one for acne all right so the next thing i got was the hourglass veil translucing setting powder so i recently well i haven't recently ran out. i haven't ran out yet but i'm running out of my laura mercier translucent powder so i figured um i would try this one at the sephora with my friend with giselle she actually pointed out to me that the powder actually had glitter in it or like shimmer or whatever and i was like what the fuck i don't really like that so hopefully this, you know, like only that one was a little fucked up and for some reason it was better in it because I don't feel like that would look good, especially since I get texture on my face. So it definitely has a sheen, but it's not like, because at that day at the Sephora, it was like glittery. It was like glitter. I was like, oh no, I'm going to return that. <laughs> so um, I will let you guys know what I think about this. So the packaging has this little dome up here. And then the sifters are like all the, the holes for the product to come out are all right here. So when you so when you close it and you go like this, just a little bit of product. The white in the middle, that's the product. Oh, I got it. I was like so confused. I was like, what? Pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to try it. Hopefully, the product is as good as the packaging. All right, and the next thing I got was a, a restock of the Skin Perfecting Micro Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in the shade Medium. Um, I have said it before, this is like my favorite powder. Oh, I love this powder, guys. It's so nice. All oh, right, so the next thing I got was this. It is Fenty. It is the it is the Body Lava and Shade Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. And I literally got this because everybody was talking. Because <laughs> I'm not really much of like a whatever person. I just like, I don't know. I've never really been into it. And plus like, I feel like I always forget to do it, you know? Like, I barely remember to put perfume on. Much less am I going to remember to do this. But I just figured it would be pretty cool to try it out. This is like huge. Like, look how big this is. And I got the shade Trophy Wife because um, I actually wanted the other shade. What is it called? 
who needs clothes but it was like sold out so i was like whatever oh my god this is hell i think i put a little bit too much on i mean there's definitely a lot of glitter i probably put a little bit too much on you know i'm really not that into like these body clothes or whatever but i figured that um maybe like in this summer i can try it out i don't know why like i'm not really like the tank top kind of person like i feel like i look like weird like just not really like how i roll but i figured like maybe if i use this it would like push me to like go out of my comfort zone and plus i feel like it would look really pretty on my vanity so that's definitely a bigger reason why i bought it so i went ahead and i purchased these razors i don't know if you guys remember in like one of my first videos i bought a razor at tj maxx and it was so fucking whack like literally removed no hair so i was at sephora and my friend giselle said these are pretty good and to and i actually used them right before um i did my makeup for this video and it removes hair guys they're really really good and i like it because i felt like with the other ones the ones i got at tj maxx <laughs> i felt like they were like pulling on my skin and they were like like i don't know i just didn't like the feeling and these i feel like they were just removing the hair and they left my face really really smooth so if you guys do want to try that technique you guys should definitely get these at sephora and they're not expensive i feel like they're around eight dollars all right so this for this product i was super super excited about it is called the hollywood flawless filter so i'm sure you guys have seen this all over social media but i am so excited to pick when i picked it up it is supposed to be like from what i've seen people use it as you can use it as a lot of different things you can mix it in with your foundation you can use it as a primer you can use it like just to highlight the point the high points of your face under your foundation and then you can go back over it when your foundation is already done you can pretty much use this as like whatever the hell you want to <laughs> i think a lot of people were confused for a bit a lot of people thought it was an actual foundation but it's not. I got the shade 3, which is a light medium. I think I was actually supposed to be a shade 4, but it was out of stock and I really, really didn't want to wait. So I just went ahead and got this. I'll show you guys. So it's a big doe fat applicator and you just apply it like so. I'm just using my hand as an example. And then when you actually like... Do you see that? Like I completely blended it out. And it's just like really really luminous and i feel like it's gonna look so pretty under my foundation and i feel like it's gonna look pretty like on those days where you really don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup like just to like highlight the high points of your cheek the next thing i got was this chrome paint pop by tarte in the shade park avenue princess so this was actually a recommendation by tone from Tony Desvalis. Um, she is here on YouTube and I love her. She's more of like a fashion um, channel. Uh, her makeup always looks bomb, so it was okay. And guys, when I saw this in the store, I was like, Jesus, like it is so pretty. All of the paint parts are really, really pretty. I was holding back from not buying like more, but they were all super, super nice. It was like funny because Giselle was in there with me and we were like talking and um she was like talking about something else and i was watching this and she was literally like distracted by how blinding this was and she was like can you stop you're gonna make me want to buy that and the next thing i got i'm actually wearing on my eyes they are the lily lashes in style miami these are my favorite lashes of life just so wispy so pretty um a couple of girls have actually asked me what lashes i was wearing while i was wearing these and I just love them i like how like pc they are and they're really really comfortable like the band is not stiff it's not like poking you in the face I mean, it's not like poking you in the eyes if your eyes are a little smaller i mean you could like always like trim them down but i love these lashes because me personally i feel like you can still you can still see your eyeshadow under them you know so i really really enjoy them all right and the next thing i got was by mark jacobs it just came out it is called the concealer and touch-up stick this was actually a recommendation by my cousin she has a youtube channel and i saw her do a video on this stick and her face looked so so good guys she ooh, she um did like a light makeup 
like I mean I thought it was pretty light she did like a light like everyday makeup I guess you could say using just this stick and it looks so good and she's super super knowledgeable um I'll link her channel down below so you guys can go over there and sh like take a look but so this is supposed to be like just a touch-up stick it's not supposed to be a foundation it's not supposed to be anything crazy like that um let me read it online before I come up um uh, before I start talking and sound stupid because to be honest, I bought this because she, her skin looked bomb. And that's pretty much the only reason I bought it. Because it looks so good on her. So this is the called the Accomplice, Accomplice Concealer and Touch-Up Stick. A long-wearing creamy concealer and touch-up stick. Perfect for on-the-go in a range of 17 full coverage shades. Covers and blends seamlessly for your skin that looks totally natural. It layers beautifully under your eyes or over makeup, blurring the the look of pores fine lines imperfections dark and hiding dark circles blemishes and uneven skin tone for the reason i got it i feel like it would be um really good to wear like you know on the days where you don't want to wear foundation but your ojeras look really fucking bad and you got like pimples and you know everybody has like redness around their nose or dark spots i feel like going over this going over them with this would be really really nice so the next thing i got was this lip gloss by nars and i was really really excited because i saw um i think it was who was it i think it was i love sarai she had this on her lips and it looks so fucking good so this is what it looks like it is in the shade orgasm this can this was like part of their collection or whatever and you know what i thought it was it's transparent you're not gonna be able to see it <laughs> but you know what I really really thought was cool about it I guess it's like a lip oil and my and Giselle actually told me that her hair doesn't really get stuck to it because you know it's not a lip gloss you know how lip gloss is like you go outside it's like and like your hair is like all over your lip gloss and you're just pissed because like then the lip gloss gets on your like cheek and like that's just the worst she says this doesn't really happen with that because it's an oil not really a gloss so the next things I wanted to share are actually not from um the next couple things i'm going to be talking about aren't from sephora um they're from other places but i wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys anyways so i went ahead and i picked up these hair vitamins as i talked about these before they are so fucking bomb guys i like they're just not hyped up all right they're really fucking good so you guys should go out and try them they do wonders for my hair i don't know what is I clearly know what's in these. I can read the back. But they really, really work really, really well for my hair. The next thing I bought was these. They are called, uh, they're by this vitamin brand called Ollie. And they're undeniable beauty. They're for hair, skin, and nails. So these taste really, really, really good. I mainly got these guys, guys because my cousin, the one I told you, has a YouTube channel. She has the nicest nails so this whole time i thought my cousin had acrylic nails guys because her nails are long and like with gel obviously they look like acrylic nails and they're not like i saw the other day she took the like the gel off and her nails were so long and they look strong like you know how some people's nails are like long but they look like if you just like blow air on them they'll like break off no her shit was long and i was like i just thought that was so cool so she recommended these um so i went ahead and bought them because you know i'm kind of a sucker for whenever people recommend me stuff like i always wanted to try them so i don't know how these work yet like hopefully my nails like get to the point where my cousin's nails are because they look so good and my nails are rough like they're really really rough right now like it's embarrassing so i went ahead and i picked up this little itty bitty um roller lash sample well it's not really a sample it's just like a mini and um so i don't know what it is with me with high-end mascara like like none of them ever do anything for my lashes like i have the littlest itty bittiest lashes ever so like usually things will just make my lashes look clumpy so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a try hopefully it works because i see it does like wonders for people so the next thing i got i'm super super excited about they're these lashes by the brand batty b i got two pairs one of the styles was called fuck boy and the other one is called batty and um i know there's a lot of opinions about jenny 69 but i personally think she's fucking hilarious i love her i think she's so funny i mean she's kind of cringy sometimes 
but most of the time she's funny these are the lashes um i don't know how i'm gonna show you guys these without showing my crusty ass fingers but they are so pretty guys like the and you know what's crazy about these they're 100 mink and they're really not expensive each one of the lashes was 19 dollars each one of the lashes i think lily lashes are like 30 some dollars these are 19 and i'm not gonna lie guys the packaging for these i feel like is so much nicer i don't know this package is so pretty like it's like do you see that that's holograph right there and it has a logo on the back and then here like i like that you can pull it out like that and then i don't know if you guys like watch this i don't know if you can, the camera's like catching it but they're magnetic and i think that's so fucking cool and i just think they're really really pretty i heard a really a lot of really nice things about them so i'm excited to try them um i feel like um in the 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 style of fuckboy is definitely a lot more i don't want to say natural because there's nothing natural about these lashes style fuckboy this is the style baddie so they're pretty different and you know what is also really cool about this so I got I ordered these I think on a Saturday yeah I ordered them on a Saturday around like four o'clock and then by eight o'clock that same night I got a shipping confirmation like that they had been shipped and I ordered them on Saturday and by Monday they were at my house like that is so fast guys so say what you want about her but that's pretty good shipping hopefully they are I will definitely let you guys know I hope they're not like so overpowering that like all you see is these big ass lashes when you walk into the room because i get enough shit about like my dramatic ass lashes i don't want my parents to keep making fun of me my dad and mom are always cracking jokes saying i'm about to fly away que no sé que. but i don't care now we're gonna be going into what i got at h&m it's not a lot it's something like it's like a little bit but i still want to share it with you guys so the first thing i want to show you guys is this super cute belt Oh my god okay i was like i do not want a new belt it's like this really like it's like a dark brown um belt i think it's really really cute i love wearing belts um not to really like hold my pants up but just because i feel like it looks cute like it's like an accessory you know what i'm saying but i would rather spend more money on makeup than clothes because the thing with me with clothes i feel like the moda changes so much like people are always like changing up like the styles keep coming in and out in and out you know and i feel like you're only gonna wear a shirt like a couple times and then you're not gonna wear it anymore you know so that's why i love it h&m i feel like everything is like super cheap and then i went ahead and i got these earrings they're really really pretty they're just hoops and with this little bar connected to them so this shirt i actually didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i did it is just like a it's like a blouse i don't know what it is but it's really really pretty it has it's like a it's like a really really soft it's like a muted pink nude almost and it cinches here at the waist and i really really like it like when you look at it you're like oh there's nothing to be tripping about that shirt but when you put it on it just like i don't know like it's so flattering it like hides the pouch like the belly pouch and then at the same time like it's not too revealing i hate when shit is like really low because like i have no boobs so i kind of look weird you know what i'm saying like what are you trying to show bitch there's nothing there and i feel like it's nice and like fresca you know so you're not too hot so much prettier like when you actually put it on whenever i wear i'll like sh i'll post the picture on the gram so you guys aren't like bitch that's a basic shirt the next thing i bought were these pants i thought they were really really cool they're like those like pants that are like they're like really like they have like i guess you could say like they're like straight leg and they're like really really like angels you know what i'm saying but the, the cool thing about these is they don't go all the way down to my like my foot they come like probably around like this much above my ankle and i think it's so cool i just like the way they look the only like down part about this i guess you could say is um um, they're kind of see-through so if you're gonna wear these definitely wear some like nude underwear with like that are seamless because i feel like you can definitely see through them i could see through them when i try them on pero me vale i really like wearing like buying clothes like this because in the summer um i'm not really a shorts kind of girl i don't look good in shorts i feel like i look almost kind of like weird 
like i don't know like i wear like shorts to like exercise in I wear shorts to like go to the lake or things like that, but like I really don't wear like tight shorts. I, so I like wearing things like this because they're not hot. The next thing I bought was this shirt, and I love the color. I think I love the color more than the actual like design of the shirt. I thought it was super pretty. I thought it was a super. I need to fucking stop saying super bitch. Think of another word, please. It has two knots detailing right here, and then it's just like a regular shirt. There's really nothing to be tripping about it, but I thought it would look really nice with that, um, with those pants, the ones I showed you about. Because here, um, I didn't really tell you guys about these pants, but they cinch in at the waist, and they come up pretty high. So I figured I could wear like these pants with this shirt tucked in, and like with the color contrast, it would look so fucking cute. Um, I probably wouldn't wear a bra with this shirt. That's a great part about having small boobs. It doesn't matter if you wear a bra because there's no difference. <laughs> and then in here, it has like a actual um, netting for your boobs. You know what I'm saying? The bras are a little thicker, so maybe you can get away with wearing a bra with this. I personally wouldn't because I just wouldn't. In the summer, guys, I like I, I barely ever wear bras. So, like I can't lie. I'm not really like a bra kind of girl. I hate wearing bras. So yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, and then the next couple things I picked up from the store, Pretty Little Thing. As you guys know, Pretty Little Thing, like literally, what am I sitting on? Oh, the belt. Mm. Pretty Little Thing always has a discount. So don't ever buy anything there for full price because it's always like 30% off, 40% off, 50% off, blah, 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 blah. And then they like send you emails and like all this crazy stuff. So this is what i got from there i got this like basic t-shirt it's um a guns and roses t-shirt um it's just pretty basic shirt i like wearing t-shirts on a regular basis that's what i usually what i'm wearing if you know me and you see me like probably on a wednesday like walking around sephora looking trifling i was probably wearing my high school track t-shirt with like holes all over it in my pajamas that's usually what i wear so i figured i really really like that t-shirt and i would get it so this shirt was kind of disappointing i can't lie on the model it looked really pretty but it was like it feels pretty cheap and it's kind of like transparent it's supposed to have like these like um i guess what are these called like lacy sleeves but it really it, it doesn't even have like a finish here do you get what i'm saying it's not like nice and like cosida and has like a bordeaux they literally it looks like they just went and that was it so I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to return the damn t-shirt. I think it was like $8. Something like that. It was like nothing to be tripping about. But I was like, damn. Like, that is bad quality. <laughs> Next thing I got from Pretty Little Thing is this skirt. So, this skirt is so fucking cool. Like, kind of like cinch at the waist. And then they have like this, like, this detailing at the bottom that looks like, what is that called? Como cuando se ve? Like, you know, where your grandpa makes fun of you and tells you looks like you're homeless homeless it kind of has that at the bottom and it's just really really nice i definitely prefer to wear skirts over shorts in the summer but like skirts just because like they're not as like i think they're not as form-fitting on me so it's just what i feel more comfortable in and i just love this skirt and it's really really good quality guys this like feels like denim after i saw that last shirt i was like wow like damn like this skirt's about to be trash but no i really 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 enjoy this skirt uh like a washed black too it's not like a black black the next thing the next thing i got was a hat um so i don't know why i bought this hat because i never wear hats i figured it would just be like cool and it is a called a fedora or algo i don't really remember what the name was but i just thought it was so cute like i was like then when i got it i'm like why did you fucking buy that hat? you're never gonna wear it but now that I take a good look, like, I see supone. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more straight. I'm probably going to have to, like, fix it. I can already see people still making fun of me for wearing this, but it's okay. Like, I, it's cute, right? Like, I don't look stupid. I hope not. <laughs> I think it just needs to be a little straightened out more. It's a little fucked up because of the packaging. But one time, I tried to wear a hat, and, um... I would put it on, right? And like, <laughs> Cristo came to pick me up and I ran outside. And he looked at me and he was like, what did he say to me? 
he was like, are you ready to go cut pitayas? And I was like, oh, I, he picked me up and I went and I got in his car and I was like so excited. I was like, oh, he's going to tell me I look so cute. And I was like, no, he's like, so are you ready to go cut pitayas? I was like, what? And he's like, started laughing and he was like, oh, the girls in my rancho, whenever we go cut, whenever they go cut pitayas, they wear hats like that. So I was like, okay, I took that bitch off right there. But I don't care anymore. We, I think this hat is really, really cute. Apare pa que me lo pongo. See me casually at Tacos of Costalia with my hat. <laughs> All right, guys, and that is it for today's haul. Um, it's kind of like a bunch of random shit that I got, but I was really, really excited to share it with you guys. I love, love, love hearing what my friends got. Like whenever they go shopping, I just think it's so much fun. Like. I don't know, just sitting there and just watching. I get like so excited for them. I'm like, this bitch is gonna look so hot in this clothes. <laughs> or like, she's gonna love that. Or like, you know what I'm saying? It like makes me like want to go shopping. And these are some of my favorite videos. Thank you so much for staying until the very end and I will see you next time. Bye.